So in school, they give you homework for a very specific reason. It's because they know if they just teach you something once a day for like 45 minutes or for an hour, when you go home, you're gonna forget it, okay? So they give you homework so you can reinforce the knowledge that you just spent time learning in school. Now, regardless of whether you like it or not, this is proven to work. This is proven to make you better at the things you do. Doing the things that you're trying to get better at makes you better at the things you wanna get better at. Thinking about the things you wanna get better at makes you better at the things you wanna get better at. If I spend my whole day driving and racing cars and at home, when I, the second I get home, I'm like, oh, I'm so done racing cars. I don't even wanna think about it. I don't even wanna to touch it. I don't wanna see a car. My ability to grow is limited to the time that I spend on the track. Now compared to someone who spends their whole day racing cars and then comes home and looks up videos of cars and looks up videos of like how you can get into a corner faster, how you can accelerate off the line better, how you can anticipate the, the light better. Like just random stuff, I don't know, I don't race cars. But the person who spends more time thinking about the goal they try to achieve is going to achieve it much faster. And now the same rule applies with wrestling. If you go home and you're like, I don't wanna see a wrestling mat, I don't wanna wrestle, I don't wanna think about wrestling, I don't wanna watch the UFC, I don't wanna see NCAA nothing, then the odds are the person who goes home and goes to a second practice, who at night watches wrestling videos, who watches college wrestling, who follows it, who follows individual wrestlers, is going to do much better than you. In this video, I'm gonna stress watching college wrestling a lot because for me, it has improved my wrestling tenfold. It has shown me not only new things, but things I was doing incorrectly and things that things I was doing wrong. I learned how to hit a funk roll off of college wrestling, off of watching wrestling, right? I never drilled it. No one ever showed it to me. No one ever, you know what I mean? And it's a pretty basic move. Watching people wrestle, someone got a single leg, hit the funk roll, and I just rewinded it and watched it over and over again. You need to, and I do that, I would do that every night with multiple, multiple moves. And I would just analyze it and be like, how did he do that? How do you pull that off in a match against someone this high caliber? You have to think that the people that they're wrestling are a much, much higher caliber than you, most likely. The people that they're getting coached by are often Olympians and D other D1 college wrestlers. The people that you're getting coached by are oftentimes either high school wrestlers, middle school wrestlers, maybe they wrestled a little bit in college. Some of them haven't even wrestled ever in their life. They just picked it up because they get paid extra for teaching and coaching. You have to understand that the people that you're watching wrestle in college are at a point that you want to get to. And they've done the things that you need to do to get to their point. You know what I mean? They've already gone through the pain. They've already gone through it. So like, Personally, I stress watching college wrestling and watching not only college wrestling, but wrestlers of your weight class. Like if you're, if you let's say you're a 125 pounder, I would watch people from like 125 to like 138 because they're gonna wrestle very similar to you. With weight, with the gain of weight in your opponents, you wrestle very differently. So like a 185 pounder is gonna wrestle real different from like a 125 or a 130, uh, uh, 132 or whatever. I forgot the weight class. There are very, very few times where you analyze college wrestling and then you try to put it into play and you do it correctly, you do the move correctly and it doesn't work. You know what I mean? Like 90% of the shit that I learned off of watching college wrestling, I could hit in practice. As long as like I had the technique right. You know what I mean? Like it takes a second. Like if you're trying to funk roll in live, then like you're not gonna get it the first time because it's kind of like a weird move. But you have to know the technique. You have to think about the technique. You have to visualize yourself doing the technique. Follow college wrestlers, go on flow, watch last year's bracket, look at all the freshmen and sophomores and juniors and just follow them throughout the year, right? See how they do, see who they wrestle, see how they wrestle and you'll learn a lot. You'll improve leaps and bounds, leaps and bounds because th like that's something that you can do that other people don't do. Other people see watching videos of like other people wrestling as like a waste of time when really you're just doing your homework. You have to understand that people didn't have these tools five years ago, 10 years ago. This is like new shit. They didn't have videos on YouTube. Like you have to understand that this is a tool that people have now that they didn't have for a very long time. You know what I mean? Most of the wrestlers that you're seeing in college right now didn't have the tools that you have, right? They didn't have the ability to go onto YouTube and find Colat Wrestling, find my videos, find find numerous videos of college wrestling. A lot of people had to watch them on VHS when they were younger. They had to watch them on DVDs. They had to go to camps. They had to go to a million practices. You know what I mean? To get to the point to where they got, they had to do a ton of stuff with a lot less than what you have right now. The internet is such a massive tool, you can improve yourself. Like with just the internet, 
You can improve yourself 100% easily. You can improve your stance, you can improve your shot, you can improve you can improve everything, everything in your wrestling game. Just by watching and learning and figuring it out and making it happen and putting it into action in practice. Right, the most important part is if you need to write it down, write it down and then uh, look back at it before practice and hit that shit. So yeah, if you guys like that video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I know it was kind of a shorter video, but until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.